Jesse, how you doing, man? Yeah, I'm good, thank you. Yeah, thank man. You. You're on Hope Gems, man. Uh, pleasure to have you on here, man. And you are London born and bred, right? But you've actually been living in Manchester, is that right? Yeah, I have. And that's it, like, uh, you began to, like, special school up there, right, for music? Yeah, so, basically, when I was about 11, um, I left home to go to a boarding school, a music specialist school in Manchester. Wow, man. I mean, boarding school, that's something like, you know what I mean, like, a lot of people don't know what that is or don't want to be, you know what I mean, it's like, like whoa, boarding school, yes, you've been living in your school, that's a hard thing, man, so, like, yeah, you know, give us some intel on that, man. Um, I mean, like, obviously, when I first, because at the age of 11, when I first was, like, got told I was going, I was, like, excited to be leaving home. Once I got there, I was like, oh, like, I'm missing home. I was missing family a lot. Um, and then I think eventually, over the years, I've got used to it. I mean, now I'm, like, it's my seventh year there. So. Used to it now. And then after that, you're, what are you thinking about doing? Are you going to join the London Music School? Is that right? Um, yeah, so I'm going to, I just recently got um, scholarships to the Royal Academy of Music and Royal College of Music at auditions, so I think I want to go to either one of those. Nice one. And then, so give us a bit more introduction on who you are, because obviously you're a rapper, but you're doing your professional music as a, uh, is it viola player? So, um, yeah, so I'm a viola player. Originally I started on the violin, but then I switched over to the viola, like, over the past two years. Um and I'm also an organist as well. So, yeah, that's what I mainly specialise in. But, yeah, like, when I was younger, I grew up, um, in obviously, in Bromley, and I joined the parish church, um, and I was a chorister there. And then I then later moved to the cathedral by London Bridge. And, yeah, I was a chorister there for, like, a couple of years until I left to go to Manchester. Wow. So what? how does that correspond with you doing, like, your rapper now? Because, obviously, you're, you're a rapper as well. As a... Well, what do you mean as a chorister? No, I mean, uh, with your music in general, because, I mean, you're doing... Oh, you're, how did that come in? Well, yeah, I mean, you're a viola player as, like, trained. I mean, you're basically in, like, the proper orchestra, right? That's what you're going down. You're going down that road to be professional. But, yeah, yeah you're in your... You're basically a, a, a very good rapper as well. Yeah, I mean, like, I think just by doing music in general, like, I just got into it and listening to music and what I listen to. And I think, like, in terms of rap, rap is mainly about rhythm and like obviously because I'm a musician I found that quite easy but then like the part that I still need to work on and polish up is what I'm talking about and how how I'm talking about things like how to be clever with what you're saying yeah that's, that's how I got into rap and like friends around me as well I've got a friend called Josiah he's also a uh, Christian artist and yeah he, he's been rapping for quite a while and like yeah I've just been like inspired by what he's doing as well and like my friends around me as well yeah yeah, sure. Shout out to Josiah. That's Josiah Oyowali. We had Josiah back on the show, and um, we had him back. Uh, it was a, I think it was back in the summertime. I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah man. He's, he's debuted on Hope Jams before, man. So shout out to Josiah. He's doing some cool stuff. So, man, tell us more about um, your music right now. Then, like, what are you trying to portray in your music now? Um, so, I mean, right now, I'm just trying to like, because um, I mean, in the summer, I was doing um, an EP, so I've been working on that. Uh, and by the end of the summer, I finished it. I was going to release it, but then I decided that I've like got more stuff that I can offer, so I decided to keep it like at weight. And then I've been like releasing singles since. Uh, I did one single called um, Now You Know, um, which you can find on SoundCloud as well, and that did really well. And then it made me think like, oh, like I can push myself more and be like more creative with what I'm doing with what I do and like the other types of music I'm like playing constantly. So I did that. And then I've been working recently on a new EP called Life of Mind, and um, that's about sort of my life. But yeah, I mean, in terms of, like, my message in my music, seeing, like, young people saved and young people come to Christ, I mean... Well, that's, a, that's, a good, that's a good thing for, for it to be, man, like, you're targeting the younger audience. I guess, generally speaking, it's going to be the younger audiences that want to be listening to rap music, I guess. Yeah, exactly, yeah. So what, what right now with your music and you're working on the the Life of Mind one and that, that's what we're showcasing tonight. I mean, the new one was obviously... I saw the first one was Make Him Do a Dab, which was yeah. recently come out and that was the one... Was that the one that did really, really well on SoundCloud? That's one... I mean, that one's got like... I think it's got like 12,000 plays. Um, but but like, the one that did really well was called Now You Know and that's that got 122,000. Wow, man. So that's a really good thing, man. For someone who's yeah. just coming up and literally like just jumped into the scene to get that that many hits on that i mean even 
if that like if that's organic, yeah. But even if it's with some help, man, that's still gonna yeah. be a good thing because it's pushing you into the scene, isn't it? Well, I mean, I can only thank God for it. Like with that, with everything that I've done, like whenever it's been not God centered, it's not done as well. Like I can easily admit that. Like when I've made God the centre of what I'm doing, it's always like done well, or like comes round to do well. Yeah. In Definitely, man. But that's how it's got to be, isn't it? God first, and then everything else kind of falls into place. Yeah. Um, but yeah, man. I mean, congratulations on that, man. I think that's what the the two tracks I'd seen on SoundCloud, and I was like, I kind of did a double tick on it. I was like, Am I reading that right? I didn't, you know, what I mean, because I just found you. I was like, One hundred and twenty-one thousand. That's that's a wicked uh, yeah. start to, to to your career, kind of thing, you know. So, um, I with sorry, man. With uh, life in mind, I was just going to say, man. Um, are you trying to like? promote that in the same way like you want to like um push that in the same way and get it get it rocking like that or are you letting it be more organic um i think i want this one to be more ga- or like organic because i think with like what i'm releasing it depends like i know there's certain things that people are going to really enjoy and i think this one's just more of a sit back and like chill and listen to it and take it in rather than like get up and dance to it if you know what i mean so what was that? What was that video you did recently? The um, it kind of like you on like a rooftop somewhere. Yeah, I guess it was in Manchester. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. So that's um my new song called Unique. So yeah, that's just about like how in general, like a lot of people try to copy other people, and like I've even found myself doing that and like copying, trying to be like other people, and you know I've been reminded by family. Like my grandma's reminded me, you know, Jesse, you are like you're your own person. You're unique. You need to remember that. So I think that's kind of like what that song's about. Yeah, yeah man, that was a dope track. I remember seeing that on on the video, and it was yeah, man. Was, so you got like a little team around you, like actually helping you out. Was that done in Manchester or London? Yeah, that was shot in Manchester. Because I know you're also part of. You said Josiah Oyewale because you're also part of Observe and Act together, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, I'm part of Observe and Act. Yeah. Which is obviously like a combination of, um, was it like different artists like grouped together and kind of trying to build something together? Yeah, so it's a media team basically, but I mean it's music centered. And yeah, we're just doing performances, media, we want eventually to include news as well. Like, you know, because there's not a lot of clarity in the news at the moment. And we want there to be like clarity in what we're doing. So by having Observe an Act, we can be putting out you know, little coverings of different situations that are happening at the moment. Yeah, I know that you guys were doing that, um, the, the kind of the testimony stories, right? Was that yeah. something you were going to either doing or you starting it soon? Yeah, I mean, we've, yeah, we've been doing, um, so it's called Tell Your Story, and that's just about, like, you telling people what you're, like, what's happened in your life. So, like, rather than keeping it in, telling people, for example... Um, just like life stories and things that's happened to you and like it's literally like you said testimony yeah man well I think you're, I think you're, you're coming to the scene good man I mean you're younger we didn't mention but you're only what like is it 18 18 years old yeah I'm 18 now yeah yeah man so I mean coming to 18 years old and you're already jumping into the scene with getting some big hits on your music man I think you're gonna do well man and like you know it doesn't matter because you've got that viola kind of set up where you could do that as a professional uh, orchestra kind of player I guess and then, yeah. in, you know, so then you can also work on your rap scene. And it's just yeah. an interesting mix, man. I've never heard that before. Like, someone being, like, involved in an orchestra and then also the rapper. It's a yeah. really, really decent, uh, unique kind of thing about you, man. Yeah. Well, I really appreciate that. Thanks a lot. Ah, uh, man. Um, where can people go grab you, man? Uh, social media, website, all that kind of stuff. Website. Uh, obviously, you're going to be observing that. You have to shout that out as well. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, first of all, the Observing Act website is coming soon. So if you guys just wait and like, I'll give you my like social media so that you can see when that comes out. Um, but yeah, that's coming soon. So then we'll have like all our artist profiles on the website page. So you can just click on say Jesse Francis and you'll find that. But yeah, at the moment I've got Instagram and Facebook. So if you want to connect me with me there, my Instagram is Jesse Francis. So it's spelled J E S S E F R A N C, and then instead of an I, it's a one and then an S and then that's the same with my Twitter as well um, and then my Facebook's just Jesse Francis that's my Facebook page and then my YouTube is exactly the same nice yeah one. that's my social media guys nice one and uh, Life and Mind EP then is going to come out 
when do we reckon like uh the, the kind of first part of the inside the first quarter of next year yeah so i think first two weeks of january i'm very busy that's when the ep will be coming out nice one and how many artists all together have you got on observe and act um i think there's about six or seven artists and is it all different genres um yeah i mean like all the artists are doing like i think they're very like versatile so they can do loads of different things nice one all right man um Last thing I'm going to do, man, you're the last artist of the night. Um, just to give a shout-out to anyone listening, man. Like, if anyone's thinking, like, you know, this is a real cool station, Hope Jams, repping it in, repping Jesus in hip-hop and rap, but if they wanted to know Jesus, man, like, how would you invite them to know Jesus? Um, but what I'd say is just an easy prayer, um, and it's just to ask God, so if you want to do it now, say, Father, I thank you for being here for me, and I want you in my life today I give you my heart, and I pray that you will guide me in life. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen, and that's it. Simple as that, isn't it, really? Yep. Nice one, bro. Nice one. Simple as that. Yo, so, Jesse Francis, man, it's been an absolute pleasure having you on my show, and this is the last show of 2017, Hope Jams, and so you are the last artist of 2017. Wow. But hopefully hopefully you'll be on again next year, and you can come back yeah, and um, showcase some more of Life of Mind before it comes out. And uh, yeah, man, uh, absolute pleasure having you on. Um, best of luck with all all that you're doing, man. Uh, obviously, I'm prof- um, you know, basically talking to a professional viola player, aren't I? So that's, that's really awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you should. I, actually, I did hear on um, one of, I was listening just the other day, actually, to, to one of Josiah's songs, and you played the viola on one of his tracks, didn't you? Yeah, I'm actually, yeah, I actually am. <laughs> Funny you noticed that, actually. Yeah, yeah, because he gave you no, he gave a shout out in it. He said, "Yeah, thanks to Jesse Francis on here," and that's when they clicked. Uh, that was you in the background. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice one, man. Ah, right, man. All that's left to do, man, is if you want to introduce your last track, which is "Not Average." Okay, so this final track is called "Not Average." Um, this is just telling like people that you know that might not have as much self confidence and that you can't. If you feel that you can't achieve stuff in life, it's telling you that you're not average. You're above average, and you set the bar for like what you want to do so if you believe that you can do something and people are telling you you can't 